This is my third bedroom. She's small, cozy, slanty, and kind of useless as a full bedroom, but she served many purposes and held many names within our household. The laundry drying room, the nap room, the dressing room, oh dear, the cozy meeting room, and mostly the vanity room, because it's where I get ready every morning. But as you can see, my dresser vanity currently sits in front of a closet, a closet that doesn't get used for anything, I wonder why, but really all that was in there was pillows and silly miscellaneous things that never get used. So that's when I decided to finally come out of the closet with a plan so great, so well thought out that I knew. Oh, it's demo time. Editor, roll the tape. Boop. Hello friends! We are going to be creating a vanity station fit for a queen. And I know what you're thinking. Why on earth am I removing a closet when you have a house that is lacking in so much storage? I hear you. Speak quickly! I'm not removing storage, I am just rethinking storage in a more multifunctional way. As you can see, we don't use this closet. I'm not lying, this was literally all that was in it. It's not being used, it's not being a functional space. This is untapped real estate in my home and I want to bring it back. I wanna use the skills that I have taught myself to try and rethink a space, rethink the function of how it works and I think it's gonna be great. But before we get into the bigger plans of what this vanity space is going to look like. The first thing we need to do is some demo. And I gotta say, I'm very excited. It's been a long time since I got to knock down a wall and I'm feeling like it's going to be therapeutic. I want her to come down so bad. What we need to do is we need to remove this door. We need to remove all of the door casing and we need to bring down a wall. Are you with me, friends? Let's bring those walls down. We are all cleared. Well, I gotta remove the door. But beyond that is this. I'm sure you're wondering why is this closet elevated? Essentially, there are three vents. There's one vent here. There's one vent that's going to the bathroom on the other side. And there's one vent in the hallway. And all of those actually run behind this wall and underneath this thing. My goal is to open this up, completely remove it. There is some insulation in here. It's nasty. I'm not looking forward to it. But I'm gonna remove all of that and then we can get removing all of the kind of the doorway trim. Let's get this door out. Let's get this weird bolt cut out, which I'm not looking forward to. It's gonna be so gross. If there's anything I've learned in this house, behind every wall is a lot of gross insulation, a lot of gross mouse poop, and nothing you wanna see. So let's open it up and do it, okay. Please don't be animals. Please don't be animals. Please don't have bugs. Please don't have bugs. I am exhausted. I don't know about you, but this closet looks massive now. It's literally like night and day, but it's funny. As soon as I'm at this stage, there's no going back. It's like kind of stressful, but at the same time, it's very exciting. I think really at this point, I don't think I'm gonna actually do much more today, but I'm pretty proud of the progress that I've made. At this point, what I'm gonna start doing is I need to like get some drywall and fill in this spot. I need to use some two by four and sink it into this spot so that I have something to put the drywall against. And then I really wanna build the new base for this so it's gonna hide all this. So I think I'm off to the hardware store tonight.
my dream for the end of week one is that we're gonna be at a place where like everything's patched up, everything is painted over, and we're like ready to start this crazy build-in thing that I have a dream for. Either way, we're making progress and that's all that matters, my friends. So I will see you tomorrow. <laughs> Look, where's my hair? Good morning, friends. It's a new day, new chaos. Last night, I came up with a plan for a majority of this. you think I would have done that before, but I said to Jeffrey, so what would it take to, you know, get some working lights up in, up in here? It just basically opened Pandora's box. So we ended up having to run some wire and I'm gonna need to do the same. I'm gonna have to cut a hole somewhere up in here just to prepare for that, just to make it easier. So basically what I asked is, could I have two sconces in here and then also have a light switch that, that it's connected to on top of two plugs that I can use for like hair stuff. I just figured now would be a good time to have that conversation while all of the walls are exposed more than when I'm finished drywalling and then I'm like, um, so, how do we do that? <laughs> but we have a lot of work to do before we can even get to that part. And that's because I need to build a base. So I was hoping to be able to kind of restructure this a little bit, but based on what I can now see, I think what I'm gonna do is just kind of like rebuild the base because I am going to be building a giant storage unit on top of it. So it needs to have some structural integrity. Essentially like after I get this kind of base here, I wanna build a custom dresser that like lives in this little station. And then there's going to be a wood top that will be on top of it. And then that way I have a place to do my makeup. I have a place to store all my beauty stuff. In the future, should this bedroom turn into something else, say, you know, a baby's room, like a nursery, I'm not there yet, but if it did turn into something like that. This could be a great little like changing station area. And then down the line, you could even add like a bar at the top for clothing. It has so much ability to grow with whatever goes into this space. But for now, having a dresser, a custom dresser in this area with a little top, I think is going to be a drastic improvement from what it was there. So I forgot, let's talk about the top. So there was a bar. There was a bar that was there and I was just gonna leave it. I wasn't actually gonna remove it out. As we were doing some of the electrical conversation yesterday, I was like, well, why don't you just take it out? You're gonna be doing all of this anyways. You might as well just make it seamless. So we took it out. Little did we know that there was an extra piece that the two by four was connected to and it literally just like pulled the drywall out. All things said, that's not great. But what I think I'm just gonna do at this point, I might just cut out a piece all the way across and then just do one big piece to fit into the top and it'll just go in as one giant piece. Talk about adding more work to my plate. <laughs> thinking why is this flooring so different in color than the other ones and then I was like oh the other ones are just extremely dirty <laughs> ain't that just great gonna fit. First try, here we go. Come here, up, up. Well, I do say this is enough to hold a human and a dog. Stop licking me. Feel pretty good about the progress. We have our platform built. I don't wanna secure this down yet because I need to access this later when we do all the electrical, but I wanna get going on the drywall. So I wanna add a drywall piece in the front. We have to cover both of these exposed areas here. And then the other thing we need to think about is, so this vent here, we're gonna have to cut a hole out uh, for the vent, but I actually need to shorten it so that it'll be flush to this. This is real unsexy DIY and let me tell you, but she necessary. All right, let's go. That 
was the worst experience of my life. No. <laughs> this is gonna be so much money. Oh my god. But you know what? It is what it is. Anyways, I have some insulation here. I want to add it into the inside of this box on the wall side. This is the outside of my house. I just want to make sure this is extra insulated. So I'm gonna pop this down and then use that black vapor barrier over top of it. Something to keep the heat in. And then on top of that, I have a piece of drywall in front of me here. Closing this in. I need to cut the hole because behind here is that vent. So we need to cut the hole for the vent and then uh, we can start mudding. Can't wait. don't mind doing drywall compound. The idea is that when you have something like this, you basically want to like feather it out so that it starts to just basically disappear on the wall. But for now, like I'm just trying to get it into those ugly gaps and then put the tape down. So I'm not worried about feathering yet, but eventually when you start feathering, like it just, the imperfections on the wall start to kind of disappear. Good morning, my DIY friends. Okay, some things went down last night, but first, do we love my jacket? I got it for uh, my birthday. I got it for my brother. He is obsessed with like patched jackets. He has a Nintendo one, and he made me one for my birthday. We got some Naruto love on this side. We got some Batman love on this side. I think it's looking pretty cool right now. <laughs> I'm feeling much better today. Working through a congested cold has not been my vote for fun. What has been fun is seeing all of this start to progress forward. I mean, look at this. And I'm sure you're wondering, last time we saw you, there wasn't a hole in the wall. Well, let me tell you why there's a hole in the wall. So last night, Jeffrey came home. He's been helping me with all the electrical. Last night, we hooked up a sconce here, a sconce here, and we have a plug with a switch that's going to turn these on. Sometimes you gotta open up the walls to be able to properly run the cords. And we weren't really sure what was gonna be behind there, so we had to be careful because the bathroom is on the other side. So we were very careful to figure out where any pipes were. We did find the uh, pooper pipe. Because when you go to the washroom, the poop goes down, the smell goes up and out of your house. I know, I didn't know that either. We avoided all pipes, everything is good to go. All I need to do now is just basically close this wall up, mud over it, and then today we are just doing a lot of unsexy work. It's a lot of mudding again. Yesterday, I did the very base layer of mudding, but at this point, now that it's fully dried, we can finally start to do something that's gonna make some great changes, which is we're gonna layer it on very thick and then we're just gonna feather it out. So that's my goal today. It's the unsexy part, but at least the worst of it is over. The demo is over. We don't need to knock down any more walls. We don't need to put any more holes in walls. Well, hopefully not. At this point, we just get to fix it. Are you ready, my friends? Camera high five. <laughs> Ooh, wow, that's the light. Okay, DIY friends. I look like a hot mess, but that is because I have been sweating profusely to <laughs> sand all of this wall down, but the sanding went super well. I ended up having to wait longer than expected. That's why I'm in new clothes. It's the next day. I had to wait for this to fully dry, but I couldn't rush it. This is not something you want to rush because if you try to sand any drywall compound that is not fully dry, it just becomes so icky. It mucks up your sanding paper. It's just a waste. This might be my best mud job ever. I'm only saying that because you guys saw what I started with and I'm thinking this looks pretty darn good now. Once this is painted, 
painted up, I swear you won't even know I pulled out an entire closet there. <laughs> But before we end this episode, because we are coming to the end, a few packages arrived that are going into this space. So I thought I could show you some little sneak peeks of what's to come and what's going into this design. So I'm gonna clean myself up. We're gonna go downstairs and I'm gonna show you what I got for this space because I swear it is so exciting. So stand by. I am refreshed, I am undusted. We're gonna go through some of the stuff that's gonna go into this space. So the goal and the plan for the entire design is to custom build build a dresser system. So six drawers, two small ones at the top, and then two larger ones underneath. And then there's gonna be a beautiful desktop, something to work off of, to put my makeup on. I've never built a dresser before, but I mean, how hard can it be? But on top of that, we are going to be putting a mirror on that back wall and there's going to be the two sconces on either side. Now that back wall is going to have a beautiful wallpaper detail. And I have the wallpaper right here. So I'm gonna show you what it looks like because I'm so excited. I haven't even opened it. I don't even, you know, I just seen a picture of it from online. So this is called the Ainsley wallpaper. I actually got this off of Anthropology. All right, here we go. You ready? You can see it before me. Isn't this beautiful? Take a look at that. Oh, she's glorious. And if you haven't guessed, I clearly have a thing for florals and birds on wallpaper. But when I saw this, I don't know, it just spoke to me. And that room is very neutral. Like it's just a white walls, a lot of wood. So having this as his accent wall is just going to make it feel so colorful. It's funny because I wanted to wait to see this in real life before I picked which color the dresser was gonna be. Cause I, I keep going back and forth whether or not I wanna make it wood or if I just wanna paint it up. So based on this, you guys should let me know in the comment section because I haven't decided yet. What do you think I should do with the dresser? Should I paint it? Should I stain it? What color should it be? Let me know in the comment section below. So then let's talk about the sconces because I found by chance a very unique wall sconce off of Amazon. It's one of those things that I'd never seen it on Amazon before. So this must be a newer product or a newer brand that's working with Amazon. Let me show you. Ooh, there's glass on the inside. Okay, this is so cool. So check this out. It's very industrial. Well, Jeffrey said he thought it felt nautical, but because I guess you see these on a lot of ships, but I love the industrial look, but I love that it came in brass. I just think this is so unique and I think it's gonna add so much personality beyond the wallpaper in this space. It's just beautiful. And this was on Amazon and it like really wasn't expensive. So I think this was a really lucky find. Um, and again, I will link this in the description box if you are looking for or a sconce just like this because this little guy is packed with some personality, let me tell you, and I'm obsessed. And then the last thing, I hadn't decided on what I wanted for the mirror yet. However, I found this actually while I was searching the aisles of Home Depot. I kind of fell in love with it. I was a little shocked because Home Depot was the last place I thought I would find a mirror that I'm like really obsessed with, but let me pull it out. So it's completely walnut and it's nicely rounded on the edges. It's such a nice color and I think it's gonna contrast against the brass really nicely too. Having this contrast against the wood is gonna look so nice. But I really like that it was actually like a true walnut wood. I would rather spend money on good pieces that are going to last a long time than buy cheap plasticky stuff or veneer stuff. So yeah, I'm, I'm really excited about this mirror. I think it's gonna look great in this space. <laughs> So that is it for this week, my friends. I hope you enjoyed this journey as I demo my third bedroom closet. And uh, stay tuned because part two is coming up next week. I'm gonna need you all there with me to root me on. So stay tuned for next week. Subscribe, turn that bell notification on. And of course, a big thank you to my Patreon family. If you guys are looking for a community of DIYers who love to chat DIY, who love to give DIY advice, then my Patreon is the place for you, check it out. It is linked in my description box. But of course, my friends, as always, stay positive, stay creative, and keep on DIYing. Bye-bye.